Now let's look at another concept. There are cases where we have the body. This is our rough horizontal surface. There are cases where we have this body on the rough horizontal surface, right? And we said if this is our direction of motion, let's call this applied force. Talked about this, right? Motion. Direction of motion we have here as our what? As our frictional force. Right? And then we said the force is acting on this body is the weight which is equal to mg right and the normal reaction right there are cases whereby they are going to add another force they will, they will be asking us to look for uh the force at an angle so we've seen cases whereby examiners will say there is a force acting at an angle let's call this force f of p the force is acting at an angle there's an angle here. it's forming an angle with the horizontal theta right we'll be asking us to look for the value of fp so there's a, there's a concept for this right what this simply means is that um, i'm going to give you a free body diagram to how this works so what a free body diagram means is that we're trying to look at a rough sketch of it so look at now let's assume we have this i'm sure you're seeing the board this is what we have this is our body let's call this our body this is our normal reaction this is our weight this is our applied force right and these are what our frictional force and now they're giving us a body here they're calling it fp that is pulling the uh, object at an angle right once an object is pulled at an angle to the horizontal it's going to form two other axes it's going to form both an horizontal axis right and it's going to form a vertical axis a horizontal axis a horizontal axis is not straight please bear with me to form a horizontal axis and a vertical axis two other axis what that means if it is forming an angle to the horizontal it means this part is going to be fp what cos theta and this part is going to be fp sine theta what this simply means is that if we are resolving our forces right if we are resolving our forces e f of s equal to zero right if we are resolving our forces what it simply means is that we're going to have the whole of this force minus this force the whole of this force minus this force so for the x axis look at if we are drawing our cardinal point this is our positive x this is our negative x so the whole of the force here minus the force we have here what does that mean it means we are going to have the whole of this force minus this force all making sense so and if you watch we have two force here we have both the applied force and the fp cos theta minus the frictional force so it's going to be e f of x is equal to what f p cos theta right plus applied force these two force here minus the frictional force <laughs> that's equation one for this one right and we know that this goes to zero right so this is just let's just call this our equation one for the x axis please this is just for the x axis but if we are resolving to the y axis ef of y equal to zero for the y axis it's going to be a bit different right such that uh, it's going to be the whole of this force that is our positive y minus our negative y and we're having two forces here so fp sine theta plus arrow minus w so it's going to be e f of y equal to what f p sine theta plus what arrow minus w i will say it now so this becomes our equation too so please take these things down note them down because we'll be using them to solve questions as time goes by right we have so much questions compiled for us so i just want us to understand how this works this is another case whereby there is uh there is uh another force that is pulling the object at an angle to the horizontal so begin to introduce this concept to it let's look at questions that relate to frictional force so i can explain everything that we're working here i'll see you in the next video guys thank you all right let's look at question number three as regard to uh question in frictions right it says a horizontal force of 65 newton we have a force 
of 65 newton applied to a bag of cement 16 kilogram they gave us the mass of 16 kilogram right it's just enough to move the bag of cement right <clears throat> if it is now put at an angle of 30 degrees we're giving theta as 30 degrees right to the horizontal find the force required to move the bag over the inclined plane if our coefficient of friction is 0.41 very simple right so let's assume that this is our smooth horizontal plane right there is a force that is moving the uh that's just enough just enough to move the box 65 newton right we know this but now they are telling us that there is another force that is pulling it at an angle of what of 30 degree let's call this fp if there is a force pulling it it therefore means let's draw the free, the free body diagram it means that if there is a force pulling it at an angle of 30 degree fp it means it's going to form the horizontal axis which is f cos theta fp cos theta and the vertical axis which is what fp sine theta right yes it is four because it is pulling at an angle of 30 degree right and we know that our weight here the weight is equal to r so the weight now is going to be equal to r plus fp sine theta that's how we're going to form our equation so equation one from there we can say our weight from here is equal to what arrow plus fp sine theta and if this is our frictional force right f is going to be equal to what fp cos theta our frictional force here frictional force is going to be what fp cos theta so let's call this our equation one let's call this our equation two okay right so from equation one we know that w from equation one from equation one we know that w is equal to mg right and they gave us mass of what 16 kilogram 16 times the acceleration due to gravity there is 10 which makes it 160 newton 160 newton right yeah so uh the whole of uh equation one so the whole of equation one becomes 160 equal to what arrow plus our sine theta there is what sine 30 because theta is 30 and sine 30 sine 30 is what 0 0.5 the same thing cos 30 is 0 0.8660 right so if i fix it there if i fix sine 30 there it will be what 0 0.5 fp right because sine 30 by this is there 0 0.5 so let's call this our equation one how about our equation two our f frictional force there we know that frictional force we know that frictional force which is our ff is equal to mu r right so what are mu they are mu they, they gave us our coefficient of static friction as 0 0.41 that becomes 0 0.41 times r so i can fix this frictional force for this one here right so it becomes 0 0.41 r equal to what fp cos 30 and we know that cos 30 there is what 0 0.860 so i have 0 0.41 r is equal to 0 0.8660 fp if I divide both sides by 0 0.41, 0 0.41, 0 0.41 takes off 0 0.41 here, our arrow becomes what? 0 0.8660 FP over what? Over 0 0.41. So what does that become? So what does that become? If we have 0 0.8660 divided by 0.41, we're going to get uh, 2.11 uh, arrow becomes 2 point what 2.11 fp that's the value for our normal reaction so what do we do we can substitute this for arrow here right we can substitute the value of arrow for arrow here that becomes from equation one 
uh, permit me to clean this part of the board. Right, so uh, if we carry equation one, uh, value for equation one, this value, if we carry it out, we'll be given that 160 is equal to what? R plus 0.5 FP. But then we found the value of R from equation two to be what? 0.11 FP. So 160 is equal to 0 0.2.11, sorry, equal to 2.11 FP plus 0 0.5 FP, All right? So that gives us 160 is equal to 2.11 plus 0 0.5 gives us what? 2.61. I have 2.61. FP divide both side by 2.61. This will take off this. Uh, uh, a angle at the inclined plane becomes what 160 over 2.61. Divide that what we have. We're going to get 61, 61.3 newton. That's a value for uh angle at the inclined plane so if you watch we are asked to find this angle that's just enough to, uh, to move it at the inclined plane angle move it at angle that is able to uh, the force let's look for the force that that will move the uh, bag of cement at the inclined plane so that's the fp there so what i did very simple what i did was that i looked for using this free body diagram uh w is equals to boot arrow plus fp sin theta that's for equation one here all right this is our equation one our w is equals to r plus fp sin theta and then our frictional force equal to what it's equals to fp here so that's what we did if you follow the uh, equation you'll get it down so from there we know that w is equals to mg we multiply we got 116 so i had to rearrange equation one 160 equal to r plus 0 0.5 fp right and then for equation two frictional force is what it's supposed to mu r Right, and we're giving that as 0 0.41. So if we multiply, we get 0 0.41 R. We fix it at equation two. We have 0 0.41 R that's equals to FP cos theta. Right, and what's our cos theta there? Cos theta is 0 0.860. So if I work on this, I'm going to have 0 0.860 FP. Divide both sides by 0 0.41. I'm going to have my R as what? As 0 0.860 over 41 FP. Divide four that we're going to have. 2.11 fp that means i have my normal reaction as 2.11 fp the goal is so that we can substitute this arrow for this arrow here all right so that's what i did bring back our equation one 160 is equals to arrow plus 0 0.5 fp all right so if we substitute we have 2.11 fp plus 0 0.5 fp and then if we add them further since we have fp and f we have them further we're going to have 2.61 divide both side our fp is equal to 61.3 newton for every question that is given in this order this is just the only way to solve it right for every question i'm going to be taking another question yet another question to show how this question actually works i'll see you in the next video guys thank you